I can see that you've touched bottom. There's a big plume of dirt. Okay, we got a problem. Well, we're here at Premier Lake today, and we are going to uh, test the new ballast tanks. So the fiberglass ballast tank that I had originally developed a crack, and I actually have some friends with submarines with fiberglass ballast tanks, and they experience the same thing. So I just I'm just not comfortable with it anymore. So I've installed steel ballast tanks that are neutrally buoyant by putting trawl floats inside. So I think that's going to give me peace of mind. And today we're here to test it. So let's get to it. How do you like my protective cover for my dome? Uh, my wife generously gave me this plastic pot or whatever it is. The roads are so bad here that you have to have some kind of a cover. I think the forward tanks helped with the stability? Yes, I think it's much better. Not that it was bad before, but we'll do some testing um, once we're out there. I'll stand out up there and see how it is. I just want to clean the oil off here. I oiled it this morning. Hi, submarine friends. We're back on Premier Lake today. Fantastic day. The water was just like a mirror 20 minutes ago. I'm sure it will be again soon. We've got the lake all to ourselves except for a couple of fishermen. Couldn't be better. So we're here today to test out my new main ballast tanks in the front. I developed a crack in this fiberglass tank. Uh, it actually turns out it's kind of typical with fiberglass ballast tanks. If the, if the vent hole in the bottom's not large enough, the sudden shock of air pressure cracks them. So. I don't feel very comfortable with that, so I put these steel tanks on. But check out this stability now. I can't believe it. I mean, that's fantastic. Look, at I can lean way out here. That's beautiful. So that's one of the bonuses of doing this. So now we're going to do some dives to make sure that the weight and the balance is correct. If it won't sink, Anthony's going to have to head to shore and grab a couple of rocks and set them on the deck till we find the sweet spot. But uh, I think my math will be correct and she'll sink on her own. So here we go, let's do a dive. Okay, I'm going to start venting. Okay. Hold on, I got an alarm. So my CO2 level is not dropping, but I'm not going to worry too much about it yet. I have to wait for my CO2 level to start dropping first. It's going up instead of coming down. This is really unusual. Usually it starts dropping right away. I wonder if this absorbent is screwed. I moved the meter, it's okay. Can you read me? Can you hear this radio, Anthony? Yeah, it's kind of battle itself. Okay. Okay, here we go. So the forward ballast tanks are venting right now. It's my first time with these uh, ballast tanks, so uh, I have to pay attention here. Seems good. How's it looking outside, Anthony? Oh, you're going down now. Well, you're back up now. Your your tail was down, and now you're fully up again. I'm interested in the front. I can tell about the back. Yeah, your front's up. Is it uh, submerging, or what's it doing? Doing a damn thing. Can you push down on the deck of the sub? Okay, let me get over there. So it appears that the uh, front ballast tanks are too buoyant. How far is the front sticking out of the water? Same as before. Not moving at all. Okay, well we're going to surface and we're going to have to go get some ballast from the shore. Okay, this is attempt number two and we are venting. 
Well, the back end really drops quickly. There we go. So right now we're venting the front. We'll ask Anthony how it's going. How's it going up there, Anthony? Are we diving? No, not enough weight. Hang on. How are we doing? You're on the surface, so the front just does not want to go down. Is the deck above water? The nose is actually underwater right now. Maybe you got to add a rock to the deck. So Anthony's just going to add some uh, more weight to the surface. It doesn't want to come down. It's being a bugger. But that's why we're here. We're here to uh, get this sorted out. Okay, this is an attempt number I'm not sure. So we had to add rocks to the deck. So now we're going to see if she'll go down this time. Gee, my sonar is working today. The other day it uh, failed on us. It's a very weird situation. I'm going to add a second one so that I have redundancy because, you know, you travel for hours to go on a dive and then a key component quits. That's no good. So we're doing good. Oops, I left too much out the back so the stuff did a big tilt. Let me know when the deck is at the water level or below it. Okay, the front deck is below the water right now. I'm not submerged yet? Uh, well, the front is a couple inches under, and the back is sticking up a couple inches. The whole sub, including the conning tower, is now under. Okay, the whole sub, including the conning tower, is now under. Let me know if you decide to surface, because I'm pretty close to you. Well, get out of the way, I'm coming up. Okay, we got a problem. What's that? We're really out of balance. Okay, we're gonna try again. We've shifted some weight around. And so let's turn that on. Roger that. Is it still going down? Seems to be stationary. How far is the deck from the water surface? Two inches and uh, the back is sticking up just a couple centimeters. Your back end is going down, but you're way underwater. Yeah, it's really picking up the boat motors today. I can see that you've touched bottom. There's a big plume of dirt. Okay, I'm going to come up. Roger that. The deck is fully above water. Perfect. We are not having success today. That looked a little better. It's going a little poorly, so I'm trying to decide what the solution is right now. It may have to go back into the test pool. This is where a test pool is so nice. It's such a controlled, perfect environment. Not that this is bad. Yeah, that was a little better. What's a lot easier. You're going back first. Fully under, nose is looking at the sky. <laughs> I'm like flying around inside. 
Just came back to the surface for a second there. Looked like he was about to surface. I'm guessing he wanted to stay down and activated the thrusters. All right, so we have the sub dialed in pretty good with rocks on the deck. And uh, we're quite neutral. Just using thrusters to go down. Pretty clear down here, but we're pretty shallow. I think we've got it, Anthony. It's dialed in. That's funny. I'm towing that trawl float, aren't I? Or did I take it off? Yeah, I was just looking down in the uh, lunchbox for a second to then. Just reported that he's heading back to shore. 